confiance, le tireur du penalty est intervenu et a placé le ballon au fond des filets. Yes, that, that was the last game between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Elephants of Côte d'Ivoire, where the Eagles have to feast. They feasted on the Elephants. They were up in the sky and they had to come down and drop on the elephant at the end of the day they feasted so well on the elephants of Côte d'Ivoire and it was one nil in favor of Nigeria at the second group game of uh, group A at the ongoing uh, Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast in that country it was a painful defeat for the host country but it's a good one for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And I know that I welcome you uh, to the program, Touristy Sports on Trust TV. You got, we are going to talk about uh, a lot about the Super Eagles on the show. And uh, Oluwa Shina will be joining me on the show from the city of Abuja to also talk about the Super Eagles, their game coming up later on today, and other stories we've got for you on the show. But let's uh, start with this one. Is that another good news for Nigeria? Because uh, I told you, like I used to say on the show, that it's a sporting year and definitely Nigeria are participating in every of the sports that is ongoing in this year, 2024. Let's not forget that the Paris Olympic is coming up also with a lot of events in sports lined up that I know uh, Nigeria will be participating in all of those sports. But for now, we have two competitions going on on the continent of Africa and we have our two our teams uh, representing the country in these two tournaments. That is the African 26th African handball a tournament that is like the AFCON that is ongoing in uh, Cairo, Egypt. And we have our Golden Arrows, as they are called, as the handball team of Nigeria, the Golden Arrows of Nigeria, uh, winning their first game uh, in, that, uh, in that particular competition after they lost to the likes of Angola. And uh, the team that has the, the, the most decorated team when it comes to handball on the continent of Africa, that is Tunisia. They've won it 10 times. They blew the Golden Arrows away. But on Sunday right there in Cairo, Egypt, Nigeria was able to get their first uh, win of the tournament against Kenya. It was a sweet victory for Nigeria. It ended 32-23 in favor of the uh, Golden Arrows of Nigeria and their, uh, their classification game, you know, uh, in uh, handball. Uh, it's not like football where you have first, second, third and fourth you play uh, the third place man also in handball we have some we have all of these but at the end they all, they play what we call classification match so by tuesday that is tomorrow nigeria will be playing a classification game to see where they are where, where they will be placed at the end of the tournament it's called classification game but it's a good one for the golden arrows because uh uh it's been a long time we appeared at the african handball uh, championship but this time around we did we by participating alone we did well uh, i think it's a learning curve the team will bounce back in subsequent uh, edition it is the 26th edition of african handball and it's a good one for nigeria winning her first game at the tournament all right i have uh, uh lua shino uh, on the show this morning shino welcome to 360 sports uh, it's good having you on the show uh straight up nigeria handball team the golden arrows winning their first game at the african handball championship it's just like the nation's cup for handball that is ongoing in cairo egypt okay uh good morning good morning uh Mr. Mano, and uh, good morning viewers I, I I just went through uh, the competition and uh, the, the fixtures, and I I was really impressed to actually see Nigeria, uh, the team Nigeria, participating in such uh, a competition, and uh, I'm I'm really impressed that they were able to come up with a, a victory yesterday. So it's 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 a, it's a plus for us, and uh, I will get to to see some of these uh, wins in in later times. Okay, we'll get to see some of these wins in a later time. Now, they will be playing their, uh, their classification game come Tuesday. Uh, what are your thoughts towards that game for tomorrow? Okay, um, I, would, I would advise that the, um, the sit-up, uh, looking at the losses they had against Angola and also against Tunisia, they should just uh, work on their, the, the lapses they had that led to, the, to, the, to their losses in those both games. And I, I hope that they will, they will come out victorious. 
Okay. We game. hope that they will come out victorious. They will be playing on Tuesday in their classification game. But uh, it's a good news that they got their first win of the tournament against Kenya. It ended 32-23 in favor of the Golden Arrows of Nigeria. So congratulations and kudos to Coach Salami Agbola, who is doing so well with this side, and uh, to Sam Mochehu, the president of the Handball Federation of Nigeria, who has actually brought handball back to where it used to be in the country. And we, will be, we are also, right as it stands right now, soon as we will become a force to be reckoned with when it comes to handball. But against Tunisia, we stand no chance. That team has won the African Handball Tournament 10 good times. They won it more than any other team on the continent of uh, Africa. All right, let's uh, leave handball and go straight to Cote d'Ivoire. Let's leave uh, uh, the North African and come straight back to the West African uh, uh, region where the AFCON 2023 is ongoing. That is Cote d'Ivoire. And we'll be stopping by in the camp of the Super Eagles. Uh, we know what happened last Thursday. That was on Thursday. We defeated the host country 1-0. And now I think uh, we are comfortable on the group uh, uh, because uh, we have four points from that uh, uh, game, from that victory against uh, uh, the Elephants of Côte d'Ivoire. And Coach Jose Pissarro said the team, the Super Eagles team, aim to uh, top Group A. Before I will allow you to react, uh, uh, Samuel uh, Shaw, let's quickly look at uh, the uh, groupings, the groups, the tables, how they are standing after second round of games uh, ended uh, last night. Okay, let's look at how they are standing in Group A. We have Equatorial Guinea on four points uh, on goal difference. That is why they are topping. Uh, we have Nigeria second with four points and we have Ivory Coast uh, third with three points and Guinea-Bissau with zero points. And then in Group B, we have Cape Verde with six points. We have Egypt on second position with two points. Ghana and Mozambique having one, one point uh, respectively. In Group C, we have uh, Senegal with six points. Guinea second with four points. And Cameroon one point. Uh, and Gambia zero points. That is in Group C. And then in Group D, we have Angola with four points. We have Burkina Faso with four points. Algeria have two points. And Mauritania with zero points. And then in Group E, we have Mali on four points. Uh, South Africa with three points, getting their first win last night against uh, their neighbors, Namibia. Uh, Namibia also have three points, and Tunisia have one point. And then in uh, Group F, uh, the last group, we have Morocco with four points. Diaro Congo, uh, Vepu's uh, late uh, equalizer gave uh, Diaro Congo a point against Morocco uh, yesterday on Sunday. And then Diaro Congo have two points, Zambia have two points, and Tanzania have one point. That is in Group F. But our concern is Group A, uh, where we have Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Ivory Coast, and Guinea-Bissau. But for, coach, uh, for our own Super Eagles coach, Pesel he has said uh, this uh, Super Eagles team is team aims to top uh, Group A. Now, Samuel Eshaw, uh, coming back to you now, for Coach Pissero, he believes and he aims that the team tops Group A. I don't know uh, if definitely you are, uh, maybe you are in support or what, what's your take, what's your, what's your pulse about Pissero saying the Super Eagles will top Group A? Okay, um... Based on my opinion, I, I believe the Super Eagles will top the group. Looking at uh, the, the last game they played, they had a pattern which actually enabled them to have upper hand against uh, the Code of War team. Uh, I believe that there will be a, a, sense, a high sense of confidence uh, which will um, enable them to go ahead and defeat Guinea convincingly today. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see the likes of Lukman, Osime, uh, Chukweze putting in their A game to see that they, they, they deal with Guinea in a convincing way. So I, I see them topping the group with seven points uh, so that they'll be able to go ahead to the next uh, round of 16. Okay, you see them topping the group so that we will qualify to the round of 16. But let's uh, look at the game against Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, that game, a lot of uh, persons didn't expect the Super Eagles to come out tops in that game. Uh, some said it was going to end in a draw, while some believe that the Super Eagles was uh, going to win. Uh, but against all odds, they came out tops with three points. Uh, I, I don't know what's your, what's your mind uh, this evening uh, by 6 p.m. Nigerian time, but let's uh, 
quickly look at uh, that game, uh, Nigeria Guinea Bissau uh, by 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Now uh, let's not forget that this team came to Abuja and stunned us one nil uh, during the African Cup during the qualifiers for this uh, tournament. Now we will be playing them in our last group game uh, today. Uh, what are you looking forward to in that particular game? Okay, um, I would I would just advise if, if I had if I had the time to actually or if I had the opportunity to actually talk to the boys, I would say they should they should just improve from what they actually did uh, from their last game. Um, they should be more clinical in the attack. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm I'm actually emphasizing on on the attack with with, with the likes of Emosime, um, Chikweze, and Lukman. They should be clinical up front. I'm I'm seeing the defense being more compact this time around because I think the uh, coach has been able to find the best set of guys to be at the at the back line, which I am quite comfortable with. Then at the midfield, uh, Onyeka is actually doing his best. We also need them. Um, it will be to put in more energy into his creativity uh, in, in, in the midfield. And I, I think we should be able to come out with. Uh, Three goals, three goals, three zero. Yeah, the game should end like three zero because the defense is okay for me. All okay, we need is to improve in the attack. Okay for you, uh, Shino. That is what you are saying. That game uh, by five thirty p.m. We'll be looking at that game properly. We'll be reviewing it on uh, our second show for the day. But uh, let's go. We'll run over to this fixture before we now look at results uh, of games that was played last night. Let's just leave the result on the screen while I quickly just uh, give the fixtures for today. We have Equatorial Guinea against that is the Thunders of Equatorial Guinea against uh, Elephants of Ivory Coast. We have Guinea Bissau, the White Dog against uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Cape Verde, the, the, the surprising team of the tournament for me, will be taking on the Pharaohs of Egypt uh, uh, and Mo Salah will not be there. Mozambique, the Blank Mambas of Mozambique, will take on the Black Stars of Ghana. So it's going to be the, the battle of the Blacks tonight uh, in the African Cup of Nations. But uh, Samuel, let's quickly look at the result of games that went down um, uh, yesterday, Sunday. We have South Africa trashing the last game of the day. Uh, that is in Group E to complete the second match in Group E. They trash Namibia for their neighbors. And then for Group F, Morocco and Diaro Congo play the 1-1. And then Zambia and Tanzania also for Tanzania, they got their first point of the tournament, and Zambia getting their second point, that is, uh, of the tournament, two points for them, and Tanzania, after they sacked their coach, Amaruche, because of uh, what he said about uh, Morocco having influence on the referee, he was sacked, and he has been fined by CAF for actually making such utterances. But the result is Zambia won, Tanzania won, and Morocco won, Diaro Congo won. All the two games uh, in Group F ended on a draw affair. But for South Africa, they trash Namibia. Which result surprised you uh, in, in these two games, uh, three games that were played on Sunday? Okay, we lost uh, somewhere there. Uh, this, that's the result of games that was played uh, uh, yesterday, Sunday, in uh, AFCON 2023. South Africa beat Namibia, like you heard, for them to take their first three points of the tournament. And Morocco and Diaro Congo, it was a very, it was a shocker uh, against uh, Morocco because I know Diaro Congo, they are a very stubborn team. Somebody once told me that Diaro Congo is one team that are so stubborn. And I know that Morocco will have their, their retest in the Con when they play this game on Sunday and Zambia and Tanzania ended it on a 1 1 draw. But for later on today, uh, we we'll have a Kuturia Guinea against uh, Ivory Coast, Guinea Bissau against Nigeria, and then we we'll have Black Mambas of Mozambique against the Black Stars of Ghana, and the Pharaohs of Egypt will play. Uh, Cape Verde, that's a, a very tough one uh, game, and let's see how those games will go on. For But for Nigeria, by 5.30 p.m., the studio will open. You will have uh, the opportunity to make your own uh, contribution. All right, let's leave uh, the African Cup, still on the African Cup of Nations. Let's quickly look at uh, this news. It's not a good news for the pharaohs uh, of Egypt, as Mo Salah has returned to England, uh, has gone back to uh, Amphid, where he is going to undergo his... Uh, 
uh, uh, his uh, recuperation from that uh, tie injury he sustained against the Black Stars of Ghana, where that game ended 2-2 uh, in their second group game of the African Cup of Nations. But for Mo Salah, he will no longer take part in the African uh, Cup of Nations, except he gets uh, uh, he recovered before, and if the Ferris of Egypt progress in the tournament, he can come back to join them. That is what Jurgen Klopp is saying. But right now, he has left the camp of Pharaohs and gone back to England to uh, continue his uh, recovery. And uh, we'll just wish uh, Mo Salah quick recovery so that he can join the Pharaohs back if they progress in the tournament. And also, after the tournament, is going to be useful for uh, Liverpool FC of England. That is it uh, on the African Cup of Nations. Let's leave the AFCON because uh, later on in the evening, we will talk more about uh, the AFCON. You've seen the, uh, the, guru, the groups, how the uh, our teams are standing after the second round of game. All right, all right let's uh, come back to Nigeria. Let's start with some club football uh, games that were played, but let's begin with the MPFL. It was March day 19 in the Nigerian Premier Football League, and we had the results of March day 19 quickly on the screen right now. Bendel Insurance at the Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium trash spot in Lagos 3-1. Quara United won Sunshine Stars of Akure nil. Doma United and Rivers United, it was 1-1. It was looking as if uh, Rivers United wanted to break the jinx, wanted to break that record of Doma United not losing at Pantami Stadium this season uh, when they went 1-0 ahead. That is for Rivers United. But at the end of the day, Coach Onigwinde did the magic and they got uh, they level things and it ended 1 1 between Doma United and Rivers United. Aqua United, Pip Rangers International 1 0. Canopilas beat Heartland FC of Uri 2 1. And Lobby Stars were victorious over their neighbors. Plateau United 1 0. Niger Tornados and Casina United is a middle bed derby. Ended uh, is another affair though. Uh, ended on a goalless affair. Remo Stars beat Abia Warriors 2 1. Eniba went away uh, to beat Shooting Stars of Ibadan 2 1. And Bayesha United and Gobe United played a 1-1 draw. Let's quickly look at match day 19 table. Let's see how the table looks like after those round of games. Now for Lobby Stars, they are back to the top of the table with 36 points after 19 games. Remo Stars is second with 35 points. We have Eniba third with 32 points. We have Doma United who maintain, who have dropped to the fourth position with 32 points, but on goal difference, uh, they have played more games than Eniba and uh, they are on the same points with goal difference. Then we have uh, Canopilas on the fifth position with 32 points. Plato United is sixth with 31 points. Bender Insurance is seventh with 30 points. Casina United is uh, on the eighth position, 27 points. We have Abia Warriors, 26 points. Enugu Rangers is, remains 10th on the table with 25 points and five goal difference. Let's look at the flip side of the table quickly. We have uh, shooting stars of Ibadan after they lost to Eniba at home. 23 points to their name on the level position. Sunshine stars of Akure is 12th with 22 points. Quara United 13th with 22 points and minus two goal difference. All of them having the same mi minus of goal difference. Rivers United is 14th with 21 points. They have played lesser game than other teams. And Hardland FC of Oweri continues to remain at the bottom of the table with 16 points. That is how things are in the Nigerian Premier Football League after match day 19. And it's a good one that our league is actually taking shape and is getting interesting week in, week, in, week out with all of those interesting games despite, despite some um some abnormalities notice despite some poor officiating but the league is getting interesting and interesting every weekend all right let's go straight to europe where there were some games in the english premier football league that is the epl uh, where we had games for liverpool they have opened up the gap at the top of the table and now it looks as if they want to cruise but let's see how cruising they will be Arsenal trash crystal palace five nil uh brentford uh, beat nottingham for us three two for ivan tony the last time he scored a goal in the english premier league was against nottingham for us and after that 290 uh i think 200 50 something days of suspension of ban after that betting issue with him. He came back and got a goal against the Nottingham Forest, closing his goal account before ban against Nottingham Forest and opening his goal account against the same team. Uh, for Sheffield United and West Ham United, it was 2 2 uh, draw, and then Liverpool beat AFC Bournemouth 4 0 away. It's a good one. Uh, 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 Nunes 
getting uh, goals and uh, uh, Jota getting those uh, goals, uh, a brace for both players in that particular game. Let's look at the uh, EPL table. Let's see how the EPL table looks like for Liverpool. They have 48 points, 5 points. Uh, they have opened up uh, five points uh, uh, between them and Manchester City and Arsenal, who are on the same points, but goal difference separating second and third. Man City is second, Arsenal third. Aston Villa is on the fourth position with the same number of points, also 43 points, but goal difference may uh, leave Aston Villa on the fourth position. Tottenham is on the fifth position with 40 points. We have West Ham United on the sixth position with 35 points. Manchester United is seventh with 32 points. Brighton is 8 with 31 points. We have uh, Chelsea on the ninth position with 31 points. And Newcastle United is on the 10th position with 29 points. Let's quickly look at the second side of the table quickly uh, and see how other teams have said. Wolves is level with 28 points. We have Bournemouth on the 12th position with 25 points. Fulham is on the 13th position with 24 points. And Sheffield United is 20th with 10 points. They played a 2-2 draw with West Ham, that is Sheffield, and they have uh, added to the number of points they have 10 points. Previously, they have 9 points, but now they are 10 points with minus 34 goal difference. Also, in the German Bundesliga, it's a hard, it was a heartbreaking for Bayern Munich, who are trying to see if they can catch up with uh, Bayer Leverkusen. They lost their game to Werder Bremen at home, 1-0, and then Borussia Mönchengladbach won, uh, FC Augsburg 2, FC Hidehem 1846 won, Wolfsburg 1, Cologne 0, Borussia Dortmund 4, FC Freiburg 3, uh, Hofim 2, Damsdan 98, and Eintracht Frankfurt 2-2, Bochum 1848 uh, 1, VFB Stuttgart 0, and 4. By Leverkusen, they actually struggle, but at the end of the day, they defeated RB Leipzig 3-2. Two, to open up gap on the table. They have 48 points. They now they have opened up seven points uh, gap between them and Bayern Munich who have played just a lesser game. Then we have uh, Damsdown 98 on the 18th position with 11 points. All right. Uh, let's quickly take this last story before we go. That is Asusa Toshola. She has won her first trophy of the season with Barcelona uh, in the uh, Super Copa Femina in uh, in uh, Spain, that is for uh, Cesar Tosola. Congratulations to her. He came on, he came uh, as a substitute in that game. They trashed their opponent, 7 0 ended, but her name was not on the score sheet. Bomanti and Co. getting the goals for uh, Barcelona in that game. But congratulations, congratulations to all Barcelona players and our own uh, Super Falcons. Assisat Oshola. All right, that is where we we'll leave it on 360 Sports on uh, um, Trust TV. Sorry that uh, Oluwa Shino Esho could not continue with us because of a uh, signal issue, and we're sorry. Uh, in the subsequent edition, he will be joining us to give us his own side on all of the topics we'll be discussing on the show. And that is it on 360 Sports. I am Emmanuel Fashemi saying thanks for watching.